out well when you look at the charts? I think that when it comes to stocks and investing in companies, more than anything, I think you need the common sense theory. Yeah. yeah? So the, the common sense element is paramount. You've got to have common sense. Sometimes, you got to, when it comes to the stock market, a lot of numbers, a lot of figures, a lot of them are either inflated to showcase that they are doing well, or they are purposely going in debt because it's also good for a company to have debt for those people who understand businesses. So it's very hard to go off figures and what we believe is going to happen in the company. When it comes to stocks, when it comes to companies, you've got to have common sense. Yeah? What do we think they are going to do? What's the next best thing? Does that company fit in what's the next best thing? Yeah? If it doesn't, then you don't involve it. Yeah, you move on. Yeah, we we spoke in depth last time about coronavirus and using the common sense method to understand what stocks to invest in during coronavirus. Then post coronavirus, what stocks to invest in post coronavirus? Just common sense. You don't. You, you didn't need figures oh, yeah? did, or uh, stats. Uh, uh, the boys over in Essex. The ones who took the Trade took the punt and then they got they, they even froze their accounts because they didn't believe that they caught it. So they, they caught the oil. Negative figures. Common sense will tell you post coronavirus oil will rally. Yeah. Why? Because people need oil for the Whatever fuel in their cars. Again, you need Rolls Royce for producing engines. You yeah. need it for, for aeroplanes. It, it was a guarantee it was going to go up. So the boys in Essex, they put the, the trades on. Yeah. yeah. I, can't, I don't know the top of my head the lot size, but they put, they put the trades I think on. They've done six million or something like that. And no, no, no. It, they flew in profit. Yeah. And then account got, got frozen because how did you know? Da, da, da. Again, no stats yeah, or figures would have told you any common sense theory. Yeah. The common sense theory would have would have um, trumped anything at yeah, the time. Yeah. So when it comes to your question, common sense over everything. You know, yeah. you just got to now. Of course, like anything, you still need to look at financials. You need to look at elements that you would do before you put your money behind something. But a lot of it is down to just pure common sense. Like yeah. even Apple. Yeah. When I saw the 3GS, why would I get involved? Because I thought this phone was revolutionary. Are you going to get copycats? Of course. At the time, we had the old school Nokia's. Yeah. Everyone was trying to get small. Well, do you remember? Do you remember BlackBerry, yeah. BBM? Everyone was on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what iPhone had yeah. had everything they had plus more. Yeah. So that's where I put my money. Mm. Yeah. And then look what happened. Again, common sense. No, I didn't know. Now, and I said this last time as well, Michael. Yeah. Um, Michael Saylor did exactly the same thing. He mm. was vouching for Apple right when it was a very cheap phone and people were saying, you're ludicrous. Why are you going to put your company money behind it? Who was right? Yeah. Michael. Yeah. Right. And look now, what's he backing? Well, Bitcoin. Yeah, crypto. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's backing Bitcoin. And yeah. the amount of companies he's got involved in is, is crazy. Yeah. It's proper crazy. Yeah. I think he